How about a giant ring? Encrusted with diamonds. <laughs> that must be a joke. Far too expensive. And also, far too predictable. Well, you've got to find something. Your anniversary is in three weeks. I know, Jacob. I know. I still have a lot of time, though. True, but best you don't leave it to the last minute. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Right, last call. Time to pack up, eh? As I and my friend Jacob parted ways for the evening, I decided to head home. I'm back, sweetie. Eleanor, are you home? Hmm, I guess no one's home. Where could she be? I'll just ring her. Her phone's here, but she isn't. Hmm, who's this texting her? What? What is this? No, no, this can't be. Much to my horror, I found my wife had been texting another man. She was cheating on me. They had been meeting up for these last few weeks. This is insane. I've been for a whole week and I still don't have the courage to say anything. I... I need to speak to her. Come in. Hello. Oh, hi, sweetie. Just marking some papers. Is there something you need? Uh, just checking on you. How's everything? <laughs> I'm fine since we last saw each other this morning. Good, good. I'm just going to pop down to the workshop later. Want anything from the shop? Oh, if you wouldn't mind getting some more milk on your way back, that'd be swell. More milk? Okay, got it. <sighs> Wallace. Are you alright? You've been so quiet these last few days. I've, uh, just had a tough week. Can't be that bad. You have no idea. <laughs> Try me. Jacob, I'm going to tell you something that you can't tell anyone. Okay. Is everything alright? Eleanor's been cheating on me. What? Uh, are you sure? Yes. They've been sending each other photos, and they've been meeting up, and, um... <sighs> what are you going to do about it? Are you going to get a divorce? Oh, I think that's a good thing to do in this situation. I've tried talking to her about it, but I just can't make myself to say anything. She hurt me, Jacob. So badly. She can't get away with this. I love to take matters into my own hands. Whoa, Wallace, settle down there. No, Jacob. You don't know what this is like. You sound like you're going to bloody murder her. No. You're not going to. Of course not. Don't be insane. Don't cheat yourself. Two wrongs don't make a right, Wallace. Who, who would I even cheat with, Jacob? She's the only woman I'm close to. Oh, settle down, Wallace. You're going to get her, not me. I won't let my short temper get the better of me. I've been handling this very well recently, but why should I? She's ruined my life. She needs to pay. Look, I suggest you sit down with her. Talk to her for Christ's sake. She's your wife! I suppose. Let's go hunting tomorrow. That always takes my mind off things. Nothing better than a good old hunt, eh? Well, I guess so. It has been a while since I used that old hunting rifle. Great. I'll see you tomorrow. And more or less, you'll get through this, okay? Okay. Thanks, Jacob. I was upstairs, rummaging through my belongings and mementos, when I found my old hunting rifle. I blew off the dust and inspected it. This is when something ticked in my mind. No, I can't kill her. I was supposed to go to a town hall meeting that night, but I changed my mind and ditched it. Something dark had sprung into my mind. Wallace, supper's ready. I slowly walked downstairs into the kitchen. My wife had her back to it. I quietly put the gun underneath the table. I'm here. What are we having? Cottage pie. Oh, good. So what time are you heading out? Why the rush? I'm just curious, that's all. Well, I'm not going out tonight. What? I'm staying home. I'm so tired of those town council meetings, I refuse to go. But, <laughs> you have to. Eleanor, 
I'm not going. Is everything all right, sweetheart? Don't. Don't do that, Eleanor. What's gotten into you? Don't play dumb with me. I know you're cheating on me. Get out of this house. Don't even try, Eleanor. Why are you making me leave? I mean, I just can't believe you. Why? <laughs> because you're never here, Wallace. You're always away and leaving me alone. I need someone to satisfy my needs and you aren't the man for that job. You monster. What on earth put that gun away, Wallace? You've led me to this! Eleanor? You home? Oh, Jesus! Wallace, what are you doing? Give me that gun, Wallace. Get off! <laughs> My God. What have you done?